This girl was hiding her secret baby from me. And honestly, I got to say this. If you don't want a secret baby, make sure you guys like and subscribe because it could happen to you. But what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba and welcome back to an insane story. So today's story all takes place back when I was in high school. This was my grade 11 year. And I remember in grade 11, I got to say one thing that I started realizing over the years of high school is that a lot of women started having babies. I am not joking. I remember one time, like when I was walking down the school hallway, there was a person with like a two year old kid out of nowhere. And I'm just my mind blown because this girl was in grade 10 so like did she have a baby at like what 13 honestly it made no sense to me and i gotta say it is really bad idea to have a child when you're very very young so to all the women out there try to not get pregnant at super young age come on there's a lot to life than just that but anyways going on with the story i remember one time there was a girl that ended up being in my school and i'm not gonna lie to you a lot of guys for some reason knew about this girl me i didn't know about her but like i knew she existed if that makes any sense but i remember one time when i was walking down the school hallway i actually saw her and i actually saw her on like the edge of the corner near her locker and i decided to walk up to her i decided to actually just walk up to her because she was attractive and she wasn't ugly it's nothing i wouldn't do if that makes any sense i know that sounds really bad but at the same time welcome to the channel things are crazy in here but going on i remember i decided to walk up to her and i basically tried to raise her up i ended up walking up and saying hey like you're looking good this morning what you up to oh hey i'm getting ready for class what about you uh you know just hanging out so like i'm just curious are you naturally like just this attractive or like is it just on this day she ended up giggling and funny enough she knew that as corny and as, as cringy as it was me saying that she found it appealing and i'm not gonna lie one thing led to another i started realizing right after i said those two lines instantly she wanted my snapchat i'm not joking she straight up asked for it saying oh like you should message me sometime and i remember i was mind blown thinking whoa it worked that easy to get this girl are you trolling uh, like either i was looking like 17 year old zach afron or for some reason this girl just already was into me i didn't understand how i didn't understand why but it seemed crazy how easily it was to risk her up but later on in the story you'll see why she was so easy to risk up because i remember right after that whole interaction with her she ended up going to class and i ended up heading towards my classroom and when i got to the classroom i had a class with some of the some of the boys that were my good friends of mine at the time and i remember i sat down with them and said yo guys i ended up getting this girl's number like she's actually like hello chill wait bubba who Whose number did you get? Oh, like, you know that girl that, like, most guys know? I, I, I don't remember what's her name. Uh, here, let me check my phone. And once I said her name, I am not joking when I say this. One of the boys ended up looking at me. And he turned his head and said, Bubba, you do realize that, like, she, like talks to a lot of different guys for some reason people say she's like hella desperate i mean if she's desperate then hey it's a win-win scenario for me is what i ended up saying but i started to realize later on why she was desperate because i remember later on that day when it was actually towards nighttime it was like 9 30 i remember she ended up starting to message me and she messaged me i messaged her back and one thing led to another i'm not gonna lie she seemed like she was very much in the mood like i'm telling you right now if girls hit you up super late at night saying oh like you up chances are they want to do the devil's tango so i remember i ended up basically Basically responding back and i said yeah like what's going on how you doing and she told me that she wanted me to come over on the first day of me talking to this girl she wanted me to come over it was mind-blowing to me and i found it crazy but at the same time i wasn't gonna say no so i remember what i ended up doing was i ended up getting inside my car and i ended up actually driving over to her place when i got to her place i walked through the front door because she told me that the front door is open and when i went in i saw her instantly standing in her living room telling me to go upstairs straight to her room i remember though as i was going upstairs to her room i I ended up seeing a door and it had like this like lettering on it where it's like usually like the first letter of a person's name this is most common to put on front of doors and stuff to like you know mark like whose room it is but i remember i looked at that name and her name did not start with this letter so i ended up looking at it saying oh like whose room is this she ended up turning around immediately saying oh no don't go in there uh just don't worry about it uh, it's nothing here just follow me and we ended up going into her bedroom and we ended up doing the duvel's tango and what i will say is that what i ended up finding out later on was the most craziest thing because that room was not just a normal room i remember the next day at school all the boys were telling me like oh like how was it is she good at doing the duvel's tango and i ended up telling them yes and you know they were just curious of what was going on but then i did end up mentioning the room now all the guys found this weird because they knew she lived alone and i found this weird because i'm like well what's in that room none of them would say anything and honestly it was very bizarre to me but honestly at this time though i cared so little about so many different things that i kind of just decided to leave it alone and just kind of forget about it but honestly 
honestly, I regret doing that because I remember the next day, I am not joking. It was a Saturday night. I was planning to stay at home playing video games all day, but then I ended up getting a message. It was midday and I remember she ended up messaging me saying, yo, Bubba, do you want to like come over for like a good like hour and a half, two hours? Uh, yeah, sure. What do you want to do? Uh, I think you already know what I want to do. Um, okay. Well, I'm on the way over. So I ended up driving over to her place. And once again, I went through the front door. I ended up going upstairs and me and her, we ended up going straight to the room and we ended up doing the devil's tango. But right as we were in the middle of it, I am not joking. Right as we were in the middle, of just doing the devil's tango. I ended up hearing crying and I heard someone crying from a different room and I started freaking out. I started freaking out and I'm like, wait, what's that noise? She looks at me and she's like, oh, nothing. Like, don't worry about it. Just, just finish up. No, what is that noise? I instantly got off her and I put on my pants and I ended up walking down the hallway and I heard it was coming from the room with the letter on it. I ended up heading towards that room and instantly she ended up jumping right in front of me and said, no, like you don't want to go in there. Don't worry about it. It's nothing. I'll go deal with it. Just go in my room. Um, okay. At that moment, I remember I ended up going back into the room that we did it in and basically i ended up just sitting there being weirded out and wondering why was there a crying person in that room i obviously knew it was a baby crying but i thought maybe she was a nurse or a babysitter of some sort which makes sense because i've done a lot of babysitters on this channel but i was just curious of who was in that room i remember 10 minutes go by and i hear the crying stop but then at the same time i ended up hearing someone come to the front door now this moment i'm like okay I can't be just sitting here for no reason. It's my Saturday. Why am I just sitting here? So I ended up standing up and I ended up actually going out the hallway. When I went out there, I remember I ended up seeing the door with the letter on it was open and I ended up basically taking a peek inside and I saw that there was a baby crib with a bunch of toys. And at that moment, I knew there's a baby here. She's probably a babysitter is what my mind was thinking. I went downstairs and I saw an old woman basically picking up this child and I saw her handing her the child and I'm like, whoa, wait, so is this her baby? I remember this woman Woman looks at me and says um who is that oh nothing mom um no it's not her baby it's my baby what it's your baby at that moment i started freaking out i'm like whoa okay whoa she's a mom wait a minute is that why she was desperate she's a mother wait she didn't tell me about her baby because she was a mother now i'm not gonna lie to you at this time in high school i had a golden rule that i would never go with a milf because well milfs aren't for me i'm gonna say that right now i'd rather have my own kid than be with a woman that has a kid with another man like i think that's just weird and odd funny enough and i will say this it's just not a good idea but when she told me about this baby i remember i ended up telling her how like, you know, she should focus on her child and not focus on getting boys and all this stuff. Gave her some pretty good advice and headed home. Because at that moment, I blocked her on everything and pretended that she didn't exist after that. Did she hate me? Yeah, but you know what? What can I say? It's just another crazy moment. Other than that, fall for more embarrassing stories.